Probably winning the uh, Choro basketball tournament back to back. My favorite high school memory is uh, being the love of my life. I want to say like we're high school sweethearts. I think my favorite high school memory has to be this year when we won provincials in junior varsity soccer. That was probably the highlight. My favorite high school memory was Connor Cash. Um, he really gave the high school a lot of thrilling experience. The home openers were my favorite part of high school. Mine would have to be a couple weeks ago doing the fashion show and we've been planning it out for so long and just to see it all come together. That was really great. First day of school. My favorite memory of high school was seeing Brown Raj get clotheslined by Cole Harper Kid. Our favorite part was Great Ten! <laughs> uh, favorite part of uh, finding, finding a place where I belong. And, uh, my favorite memory at CPA was Happy Day. Uh, my favorite high school memory was football. They did say that you guys like football. Favorite high school memory when they finally built the parking lot. Oh, yes. I'm gonna mess the parking lot. Okay, I actually. Dr. My favorite high school uh, memory was meeting these two kids right there and playing rugby with them. Find this can of fish in grade oh. 10. My favorite memory from high school was the Bimmy trip with my friends. It was a really good time. I feel like I can tell that story like to all grade 10s because I'm a senior. Like back in about <laughs> yeah. grade 10 days I used to yeah, have a walk from walk. the side <laughs> street. And, and between that six year old and the lizard tag. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, favorite, favorite high school memory uh, when the cafeteria guy gave me an extra meatball. <laughs> if, if any grade 11s or 10s have Miss Pam and see this video, buy her fish and she will go keep. Love it, she'll tell you she hates it, but she will really enjoy it. Definitely home opener. Mine, home opener. Great, great time. <laughs> Mr. Thornton was a whole mess. Mr. Hurdle, before shaving, was my favorite teacher. <laughs> Mr. Milligan, English book. Mr. Chisholm doesn't mean Mr. Chisholm. I want to be with Mr. Milligan so I can live that long. My favorite teacher is Mr. Boudreaux! I'd be the phys ed teacher. <laughs> you mean Jim? Or I'd be Miss like Ryan. Miss Ryan. 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 If I could be teacher, any teacher at CPA, I'd probably be Mr. Woods. I mean, he's a pretty cool guy. Real talk, I want to be, I'd be Miss Smith because she wears like $3,000 outfits. <laughs> oh, yeah. culture, yeah. If I had to be a teacher at CPA, I'd be Jamie. Um, I would be Miss Morgan, because she gets to hang out around all the books all day. Miss Stanley. I like, really like Miss Stanley. Miss Whalen, for sure, because she's like my art mom. We're like the same person. I oh, love her. Mr. Woods. Mr. Woods. <laughs> Alicia Reed. Ryan, obviously. Mr. Chisholm and Mr. Jamie McClellan. Miss Smith. Miss Smith. Miss Smith. Yeah, Miss Smith. Mr. Smith. Mr. <laughs> no, Mr. Flynn was the best. Yep, Mr. Flynn's not here anymore. He left us. I would be Miss Bird. I would be Miss All the way, I would be Miss Ryan because she's always happy and I wish I could be her level. The thing that we're definitely not going to miss about CPA is the bathroom, bathroom lines. Like oh, they're the worst between lines. classes. Oh, the lines. It takes so long. Freaking okay. sucks. And I just have to pee. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to miss the blended Happy Meal challenges. Those uh, make me nauseous. I would say the worst, but I feel like the worst is the I'm not gonna miss the CPA parking. Every everyone has their stereotypes on CPA, but it's a good place. I'm not gonna miss cat food. Cat food. Cafeteria. I'm not gonna miss. I'm not gonna miss trying to park in CPA. Snow days at 12 o'clock. Stuck in school. Crowded hallways. The hallways are the worst. I don't need the bag on though. Chocolate chip. Yeah, definitely chocolate chip all the way. So delicious. Chocolate chip, toasted with butter, 100%. Urban cheddar. Uh, urban cheddar. Cheddar and jalapeno. 
<laughs> bagel, obviously chocolate chip. No, 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 no. The cafeteria guy special. Blueberry. Blueberry is the best bagel. Oh, the blueberry ones are really good. Cheddar, cheddar chocolate chip. Everything, Everything, Everything with cream cheese. Uh, chocolate chip. Cheddar jalapeno. Yes. Gives a little spice. Yep. Give it a little there you go. Start off your day right. Too much kick. Your breath will smell like trash no, afterwards. Chocolate chip. Uh, chocolate, 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 chocolate chip. No, no, no. I'm gonna go with the jalapeno because you know. I mean. You're hot. Yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not really into the bland type of flavors. I'm kind of. Like, I like spicy stuff. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. No. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip is a classic. No. It is a classic. I've not talked to him in months. What about what you have on chocolate? Wait, what's your favorite? Urban cheddar. No. No. Urban no. no. cheddar's good. I put their chocolate chip is like starting your day off with a dessert. Yeah. It is nice. Oh gosh, most likely to become famous. Well, there's. Lots of students, I think, in this building that could become famous for a lot of different reasons. Become famous? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Maybe Renee Bobbin? I don't know. I really don't know. I say Jenna Kent will become the most famous girl in our graduating class, so, yeah. Uh, Daniago. Um, and there's a number of people that I could throw out there, like Sophie Lee, Johnny Yee, um, Saul Hughes, Logan Crooks. Uh, well, uh, I've been very, very lucky uh, to have uh, uh, taught some amazing students at this institution. I've also been incredibly lucky to coach some amazing athletes. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, the guy's going to be famous. The guy who's going to wear a Team Canada jersey, uh, safe an ad. He's going to be famous. You mark my words. Or safe. Safe. Safe's, yeah. safe's going to be oh, famous like right one day. Yeah. <laughs> safe, I think. Safe's most likely to be famous. Could be uh, Will Hash. He could definitely. I can, quite honestly, I would bet a lot of money on this question. Who oh, really? Is I didn't hear that. Matt Tolton, he's a really good actor. Oh, yeah. Met Snoop Dogg and stuff. Yeah. I say Matt Tolton. Yeah. Matt Tolton. Matt Tolton. Yeah. My best friend, Matt Tolton, I didn't hear Matt Tolton. has the like qualities and potential to I don't get reach the stars and back. Oh, you hear me? Jared Fugier. I think. Samara and Olivia Berman in Orlando will all be famous artists one day. All grade 12s are equally as talented and have equal chances to become famous this year. Also, uh, Brooke Redman might become famous and then Alex Weiner. And or uh, Kyle Fulp because he's a rock star on the guitar. Alex Witten. I think with her kindness, her heart, and her quiet brilliance, she'll do wonderful things in the years to come. I think Alexander Witten is going to be the underdog. She's going to do something amazing in his life. Lindsay Padikam is going to be doing something in global citizenship. The person whom I see being the most famous will be Francesca. I do believe that Francesca will be a, um, will give conferences all over the world and will talk about uh, women's rights and or she will teach at university. Well, I think Sarah McNeil will be able to captivate an audience will probably be a very good public speaker. And I think Neve and Hannah will one day become Prime Minister together. And it might be scary. The kid, the kid met Snoop Dogg, I don't know if you could say when that. When this is on Ellen one day, because it's like lost footage, you know, like the big <laughs> round, because Matt Matt's sitting next to Ellen, like you'll, it, it's just going to be crazy. These guys in rugby feel? Um, planning events, definitely. The teachers here and the students, the people who I've made friends with. I'm gonna miss, probably what I'll miss the most is just like seeing everybody every day. I mean, like, yeah. met some really good friends, and you know, everybody's going away, so we're probably not gonna see everyone every day, so. Yeah. I'm gonna miss the home opener. I'm gonna miss dodgeball. 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 Yeah, dodgeball. definitely. School events and dodgeball. Are gonna be a big part of it. You know, I'm going to miss most of the high school and um, <laughs> the wonderful people that make it all happen. Yeah. Definitely the people. I'm going to miss Brad J. Boudreau and Mr. Chisholm, and I'm going to miss playing high school sports. I'm going to miss seeing her I'm... beautiful face every single day. <laughs> I'm going to miss Brad J. Boudreau and uh, playing rugby. Oh, the cute teacher like, that's my line.
deal with all teachers and the friends and cafeteria and all this stuff. Like, it's awesome. I'm gonna miss coming to lunch and listening to music. I'm gonna miss my friends. I'm gonna miss bagels. Yeah, yeah bagels every day. A little bit of advice for the graduating class. Make sure that you do something that you love. You're gonna spend a lot of years working at that job and it's important that you do something that you love. It's not as important uh, to be making the big bucks if you're not uh, having a happy, living a happy life. Ah, uh, the advice, the, uh, the grade 12 class. Well, um, oftentimes they say these are the best years of your life. That's a little bit of a false statement. There are awesome years of your life, but really what they're doing is preparing you for your best years in your life. So my advice to you is, uh, to the whole class, uh, is to take advantage of the opportunities that are given you. I realize that we are incredibly fortunate in this part of the world. Uh, that doesn't mean that you don't get sad. It doesn't mean that everything's just awesome. But the best advice I can say is get out there, get involved, learn, um, learn new things, meet people, and um, you'll find it pays off. Maybe not just in money, but in, uh, in a good sense. What I'm going to miss the most, the, the most, <laughs> the most of the CBA is that we like it's like it's like a big family here. The grade twelves, at some point or another, everyone can kind of like put aside their differences and get together and help each other out. Everyone's there for each other. If I were to go up to someone, anyone in the anyone in the cafeteria, and was like, do you have a charger? And they did. They'd like to use it. Everyone's so good to each other, even if we're not friends. Because we don't talk. Everyone is. At the end of the day, they understand and we're there for each other. I learned this year that, actually not this year, I think this year, being popular does not matter like it matters in the movies because you just need a few close friends. Those are the ones that you're missing when you out of high school, not your 20 friends. Um, I think the best advice I could say is to always be kind to others, um, to always be respectful and, and do what you love. And of course, for those of you who have me, uh, fully explain these examples. Always. Do what you want, wear what you want, no one really cares. Yeah. Like, don't be no afraid of what other people think. Yeah. Like, everyone's too busy worrying about themselves. Like, just do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm going to take a lot more risks. Yeah, take risks because you know you're going to be dead. I would say enjoy the simple things in life every single day. It'll make you complete. Secondly, choose the right partner and live with passion. Uh, choose a career path that will make you happy as I did and it will sustain you. Um, do whatever makes you happy. Have fun. And just make sure whatever you do that it's legal. I think it's very important to be involved in things that not only you're comfortable with but other things too because it's good to broaden your horizons and yeah. expand your knowledge. I feel like I learned that people leave your life but it's okay because better people come in. I'm just happy that I made such a friend. Yeah. Find a voice. Be that strong voice. Don't be um, afraid because as Mama always said, at times the fear is not as strong as your courage. And no matter what the weather, you're in your own sunshine. There's only 24 hours in a day, and you need to understand the use of that time. My one piece of advice, of advice would be to find something you love. Um, if you do that, you'll never work a day in your life. Congratulations to all of the grade 12 graduating class of 2017. Some words of wisdom is to remember you. Always be a cheetah deep in your heart. And remember, it's nice to be nice.